Yo, 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 everybody. So today I thought I'd show you <clears throat> some VS Code stuff. Uh, so I pulled up reaccessing library locally and I'll just show you some things that I do with VS Code. Um, so yeah, specifically, uh, somebody asked on my AMA, how do you switch between folders and extensions in setup of your VS Code? I have your config. Uh, my config is published. Uh, if you go to kcd.im VS Code, um, I uh, just update this every now and then. Yes, I know I could sync this to a gist or something, but I don't want to deal with that. So, uh, and I don't know if I'd want to share that publicly because maybe it would like put something in there that I don't want in there for some, like I've got private keys, I don't know. So I just put it in here. Um, I've got this little script that I run that'll uh, get me this list automatic, automatically. Um, and yeah, and then I just paste in my config and my snippets and my key bindings. So that is that. Uh, so I'll answer this question first so I don't forget. How do you switch between folders and extensions in setup of your VS code? So um, actually this comes from Adam. Um, yeah, this one. So I use Atom key bindings because I was using Atom before and transitioning over to VS Code was really hard without using Atom key bindings. So um, what actually like, and, and I've noticed I, I disabled it when I set up this new computer. I thought, oh, maybe I'm like used to VS Code now. I don't need those. But like I had to add a whole bunch of uh, keyboard shortcuts still because there are not keyboard shortcuts for things as obvious as add a file and stuff like that, which is super weird. But uh, yeah, so if I am sitting around here in the editor and I I used to use Vim mode, it was a, a extension called AmVim um, and I loved it. I thought it was, well, um, as far as Vim, um, Vim mode extensions go, it was great. Um, but I just kind of got fed up, honestly, after a while. That, like, not everything worked super well, and um, yeah, it was just kind of annoying. So I decided to switch uh, switch that off, and I'm pretty happy with that. But yeah, uh, and actually, there's a question on my AMA about that. A Vim mode. Yep, why'd you stop using Vim key binding? So I'll answer that eventually. Um, so anyway, if I'm in here, um, I hit Command, Shift, and then the backslash. And that'll get me over here. Um, and that'll get me to wherever I was highlighted last. So here, if I'm on contributing, then I click here again and then go there again. I'm back on contributing. Um, and so that's how I do that. I think that was the uh, question. Uh, and then how to get to extensions. I think it's, yeah, uh, Shift Command X will take you to your extensions because I've disabled the sidebar and I disabled that via my settings which by the way, I never use the UI. Maybe I should get used to that. Um, but I always go to the JSON here. Um, oh, and to get rid of this, um, I don't even know what this thing is called, but the thing on the left, um, I use command um, um, backward slash, and that'll get rid of that. Uh, that's also comes from the Atom uh, plugin thing. Um, but yeah, so to get rid of the sidebar, I think it's in here somewhere. Um, Sidebar. Yeah, there it is. Oh wait, no. Sidebar location is left. Maybe it's not called sidebar. Well, it's somewhere in here and I, I can't remember, but I disabled that. Like it has a couple icons on the left here because I thought those were kind of useless because I can use command shift um, backslash to open up the file explorer and that's pretty much all I ever really use. Um, and then sometimes I use um, X for extensions. In addition, I can um, hit Command Shift P and open up um, the uh, Explorer. Do -do -do. Yeah, focus on Files Explorer, and that'll pop it open. So, yeah, there's that. Um, let's see, what else do I do? Um, yeah, so in my um, in my config here, you'll see I have Egghead, Workshop, and Livestream. Um, these are kind of handy. So you have a block of code like this, and you have this uh, open and closing um, comment right here. Um, but then you have this, you know, standing free open comment. That allows me to just go boop, 
And with one key, I can comment and uncomment a whole block. I learned that from my friend Matt Zabriskie. So I, whenever I do my live stream, I just come in here and I do this. There may be a, uh, a VS Code extension for this. I don't know. Um, but this works pretty well for me. Uh, so I disable my source control management, diff decorations. Um, I up my font size and zoom level. I turn my line numbers off. I uh, get my status bar invisible and stop my cursor from blinking. Um, these are all really useful when you're teaching because they're all pretty distracting. Um, and, and in particular, when I'm doing egghead videos, I do this uh, so that like if I have to cut or something, um, it's really easy to get back to, or like um, you can't see the cursor blinking. It like blinks twice in rapid succession because I did a cut and they didn't blink on the same frequency or whatever. So that's nice. Um, and yeah, and part of like li live streaming or any sharing of code at all is you want to eliminate worthless stuff on the screen. And so that's where, why the status bar is invisible and stuff. But normally my stuff's going to look like this. And yeah, so I've got the status bar down there and whatever else. And I don't know. It's pretty, pretty normal. I don't think I'm, I do anything really all that special. Um, Let's see, uh, let me just look through here and, and check if there is anything else that I think is particularly interesting. I did just install um, a new plugin that's not on that list, which is VS Code IntelliCode. It's an experimental plugin for VS Code from the um, Microsoft Dev Labs, which will uh, take your suggestions here and it will give you uh, like sort them according to what makes sense in the current context, which is pretty cool. So if I go to here and we'll say um, const my string equals hello, and I say uh, my string dot um, what that should not be what it's doing. If my string dot all right, well, that's that's a bit of a flop here. Let's reload. I do this sometimes, reload window, because sometimes plugins don't like to work. Uh, let's try that again. If s dot length. Huh, that's super weird. It, oh, you know what? I installed that on my work computer, and I haven't done it on this computer yet. So let's do that really quick. Um, IntelliCode. I wonder if that works. I never stopped the stream, but I was uh, totally lost for a couple minutes because my MacBook decides that it's pretty cool to just drop me and freeze in the middle of a live stream. This is the second time this has happened, and I'm not liking it too much. But uh, hopefully this is this is working now, and uh, hopefully it doesn't happen again. So we'll see we'll see how that goes. Yay! Jason says, I am indeed back, so that's good. Uh, we'll see what the recording looks like. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. It is outrageous. Computers. Okay, so uh, let's see if we got that installed. IntelliCode. And it looks like it is installed. So let's try it now. We're going to say, cause my string equals hi. If my string dot, there it is, the stars. So typically when you're in an uh, if statement, it's gonna say, oh, dot length, that would be a good one, or dot match, or starts with or lowercase. Um, I might also put ends with in here. Uh, and if I do, I think um, that uh, they learn that. So let's see. Oh, here's one thing that bothers me here. I need somebody to tell me what to do about this. If my string dot ends with, and I hit tab, watch what happens. It doesn't autocomplete. In fact, it goes to the next item in the snippet. <clears throat> See, because when I do it, if, it's a snippet, and I have uh, the condition, and then I hit tab, and it'll go to the last part of the snippet. But when I have autocomplete open, <clears throat> and I'm here, I want it to autocomplete. I don't want it to continue on with the snippet. So if anybody knows how to solve that problem, that would be fantastic. 
um, my guess is somebody knows and they will either comment on the video or they'll comment in the uh, live stream chat here. Uh, so check those if you are likewise interested in how to solve that really, really annoying thing. Okay, so um, yeah, so uh, let's see, if we were to do for a for loop index and then my string dot and then, oh, that's interesting. I don't know, dot length, I guess, makes the most sense here. Um, yeah, and then we could do replace and split. I don't know, it's just, a, it's pretty cool. Um, typically, it's gonna be a better guess of what um, you want to have happen than just the unsorted um, option there, so. Um, let's see, some other things that I do. So, um, you can pop open the terminal, and now that's interesting. Uh, I'll show you how my dot files work uh, and how I get these random emojis. Um, but I'm going to do a new random emoji here. There we go, bacon. Okay, so um, by default, VS Code is opening the terminal on the bottom, and they used to have a little thing that'll let you toggle it to the right, and now they don't, and that's pretty weird and kind of annoying. Um, but there's a command for it, so uh, shift command P and panel toggle panel position. I should probably make a keyboard shortcut for this, but I always like to have it on the right side. Um, and then I use control option T to toggle that, or you can also use control back tick to toggle it as well. I just recently learned that um, when I tried to disable the Atom um, extension that I have, and I was like, well, how do I open that? So that one will do it. Um, and that one works pretty well. Let's see, what else do I do? Oh, one, one tip here. For a long time, this random emoji, I had it right here. If you look at like older videos and live streams, you'll see that. Um, and that's um, that worked pretty well, except when I would type like a long thing like this, it wouldn't jump to the next line. It would actually rewrite over itself. It was super weird. You can see this happen in my stuff. So um, if you want to do an emoji, then put it on not the line that you're typing on. Um, so just a little little tip there. Uh, <clears throat> okay, let's see. Uh, um, yeah, other than my extensions and things, I don't think that I do a whole lot. I, I don't ever debug in VS Code, and I know people are like, <gasps> he doesn't debug in VS Code, it's so great. No, I, I use uh, the Chrome debugger. I feel like it's great. Um, maybe one day I'll use VS Code to do debugging. Um, yeah, let's see. Oh yeah, by the way, you're looking at the entire uh, React testing library code. Um, because I don't have line numbers on, I don't know how many lines this is, but pretty much not very many lines, um, which is kind of cool. Most of it lives in DOM testing library. Fun fact. Um, oh, here's here's something that I've been doing recently. Uh, whoops, not that. Um, so control, command, and shift, and then left and right arrows will expand your selection. This is something that I used a ton in uh, WebStorm. I like literally use this all the time. I think it was Command W or something, uh, or maybe it was Control W. I don't remember. Um, or I, I think maybe it was um, Control Up and Down or something. I don't know. But I used to use it all the time, and I have never found um, another uh, text expansion. Um, feature in any other editor that was as good as WebStorm. It was just so good. Um, yeah, let's see. Jason asked, does Zen slash Emmet conflict at all with the tab behavior at the end? Um, I don't know. Uh, I think Jason's referring to when I did if hi dot and then it like goes on to the next thing. I don't know if, I, I don't actually use Emmet. Ah, I'm a terrible person. No, I pretty much rarely use uh, type in HTML files or CSS files, pretty much always in JavaScript files. Um, and I do my CSS and JS and whatever. So um, I don't really use them much. OK, so I at least answered the question, uh, the original AMA question. So that's good. Um, yeah, I sorry if you're not super impressed with uh, the lack of things that I do in VS Code. Um, but uh, yeah, so Rook just said, you can edit the keyboard shortcut that opens the console to focus on it when it's already open. That's actually, hold on a second. I think that's what it does. So if I've got this, and I'm like, do-do-do-do-do, and then I do the console thing, it focuses on it. 
Um, so I think that's what it is. Um, are those material design icons that you're using? I don't know. Uh, check out my VS, uh, my extensions um, thing here. Whoop. Um, KCD.im VS code. Um, and I, yeah, it's in here somewhere. I don't know. Icon. Oh yeah, there it is. Material icon theme. There it is. Ta-da. Looks like I have, well, when I was installing all my extensions on this computer, I think I did not install that one. I should update this. Here, let me show you how I update this. This is kind of fun. Uh, one of my favorite extensions is Quokka. Uh, it's by the guy who created Wallaby. So if we do Quokka, uh, new file, uh, JavaScript one, and we'll paste this in here and it immediately runs it all. And because I uh, spawn PB copy, I copy it. So immediately when I paste this in, Quokka will run the file um, and it actually like, um, if you console log stuff in here and whatever, it'll show you in the code and on the right side. It's, it's really, really cool. But anyway, with that, um, I can just go here, edit and update this list. Do, 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 do. And now it, this has my, um, shorter list of VS code extensions because I don't use some of the ones that I used to. Luckily for you, you can look at all of the edits that I've ever made to this and see what extensions I used to use. So we can see which ones I just got rid of. Uh, I got rid of auto close tag. I guess that's annoying. I don't remember. Why did I do that? Um, huh. I don't know. But anyway, there you go. Um, let me... Yeah, I think that's all the questions. That's all I'm going to do today. Sorry about the freezing in the middle there, but hopefully the recording doesn't have that. And you're all like, why is he so freaked out about that? Um, and yeah, um, I'm going to jump out. I hope you have a nice day and I will see you all uh, tomorrow. Goodbye.